Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Billy, Gym City Welding. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, today's gonna be a really fun day. It's been a, a minute since I put out a video, so plans for today. I'm gonna put this chassis back under that body. Um, the big reason for that is because I'm gonna add convertible mounts to the sides of the frame. And in order to make that line up with the floor pan, I need to get this back underneath that to get all those uh, bolt holes lined up. I'm just not that good enough to do that with the frame off the body. Um, so uh, my good friend Max from the chop, uh, he's making me some mounts for this uh, convertible, for, uh, convertible mounts for this car. So looking forward to putting those on the car. Um, also, sporting my Chinaman Low Riding United t-shirt. Believe in that. Um, so yeah, gonna be an exciting, fun day. It's uh, pretty chilly this morning, but no better day, time like the present. So I got a buddy coming over this time who's gonna help me put this back on here because when I tuck this off, I did it by myself. Don't do that at home, kids. Um, but so yeah, I'll set you up time lapse. Try and get this underneath there. Stay tuned. So what you're seeing is me moving all the stuff out of the garage that I've stored underneath the body. Um, I don't want guys to get like super bummed out because they have a small garage or uh, their place where they're doing their project isn't the biggest, you know, it's not a big shop. Uh, just use what you have, make it work. And I, I've known guys that built entire project cars out of carports or apartments. It's possible you can do it. So. What you're seeing is me moving all this stuff. It's just because I my garage is called a two car, but it's really not. Um, but just so you know, that's what's happening. So back to the time lapse. So that was a very, very long time lapse. Thank you for sticking through it. Didn't want to do a whole lot of stopping during this process just because it's it's a little sketchy trying to get a body down off of uh, blocks like that. And you just don't have the time to really stop and record and stop and record and stop and record. So thank you for sticking through. So I'll show you what we got done. All right, there she is. Back on its frame. It, uh, gosh, it's, it feels so good to see it at this point. Um, so one of the questions I'm sure I'm going to get ine inevitably is why put the body back on the frame before you, uh, painted the frame? So that's a great question. And the answer to that is convertible body mounts. Um, I've wanted to put convertible body mounts on this frame ever since I got this car. I knew ahead of time that that's what I was going to do. Um, but there's just so many like varying factors of frames and bodies. Um, no two cars are alike. And 
a great example of that would be like if, if you bought a 64 that was built in say New York or bought one a 64 that was built in Van Nuys California um, the tolerances between the two are going to be off you know what I mean they're not going to be quite the same sure there's some things like fenders and doors and all that stuff but when it comes to like you know chassis wise there's so many different frames for these cars between the American the convertible uh, the Canadian they're all a little different so long story short is this has to be on the frame that way I can take the convertible body mount and slide put it on the frame and slide it up with the bushing to where it lines up with the cross brace that runs on the floor pan that way I can put a bolt through it bolt that down tack it to the frame because it's it's so hard to know where that those body mounts go on the frame so this was unfortunately this was a necessary thing that I had to do to get to that point um, but luckily for me I've got some very very good people in my corner who helped me out today um, shout out to you Ryan and Jason uh, thank you guys so much I, I wouldn't have been able to do this without you so this is where we are for now she's looking good um, all the you know the frame fits everything looks really good everything lined up really nice uh, of course still got some work to do you know suspension wise and stuff like that but everything fit really well so I'm, I'm feeling really good about all the chassis work I did it's all starting to pay off and the tuck on the front is pretty nice it's not too much you know or, or too little it's just right so I'm pretty proud of this um, you know a big shout out to all of you who have supported me on the channel up until this point I'll have to go back and look at the videos but I want to say I must I want to say I'm about nine months from right now from from when I started to this point um, and nine months it, most of that was just because of my work schedule uh, just busy stuff going on with kids and that kind of thing so so where we go from here is body mounts go on convertible body mounts and then body comes back off the frame roll the frame out break it down paint everything um, get the motor trans uh, paint stripped off that get it all painted and shined up nice and put those back together so once I get the body off the frame and get all that other stuff done, I can eventually move on to that guy right there. And I will be doing a trunk pan on this car. So stay tuned for that. I don't know how soon that's gonna be guys before I get to that. I've had a few questions from some of the viewers asking me, hey, when are you gonna do your floor? When are you gonna do your trunk? Cause that's where I'm at on my car. Um, as much as I wish I was at that point now, I'm just not quite ready yet. So we're trying though. It's uh, it's coming together though. So everybody that stayed with me, with the channel, who supported me, I couldn't do it without you. So thank you so much. Um, please like, share, subscribe, tell everybody about what we're doing here and try and get our message out. That way more guys with these cars can hopefully learn something from me and can do this stuff at home just like I am. So again, thank you very much. Uh, much love to all of you and take care and we'll see you next time. Peace.